Hi everybody, this is Kumar. Welcome to our channel TechBiz Zone. Today I am going to start a new tutorial series for software testing. Software testing is the one of the best way to get more job opportunities in IT sector. Just if you are an aspirant of IT sector and if you want to start your career in IT, even though you belong to non-technical background, that means you you are from any other degree which is rather than B.Tech or M.Tech, you need not to worry to set your career in IT sector. Just it gives you a lot of opportunities in IT sector. And here I am going to start the first video for this series. So watch every video from this series it helps you a lot even though you are a new for software technologies i start from scratch you don't worry just without skipping the videos you have to watch and uh, you can set your career in software technologies and without delay i am going to start today's video in this video, we are going to discuss what is testing, what is software, what is software testing, why do we test a software, that means so what is the importance of testing software and what are the main ways of testing a software. So this is our agenda for today and uh, don't skip the video until the end. So watch it carefully and note down every important point. I'm going to start from the scratch. So let us discuss uh, what is testing. In general sense, what is testing? Testing is strongly related to our life. In every item, in every action we test directly or indirectly. You might have seen our mother cooking in the kitchen. When she is going to test whether the rice is boiled or not, just simply she takes a grain of rice and she presses it. That's it. She decides whether the rice is boiled or not. That is one way of testing. And uh, we might have gone to different uh, shoe marts to buy our uh, pair of shoes then before buying we take the pair of shoes what we what we uh, like the most then we put it on our feet then next we check whether it is comfortable or the number of the shoe is fixed fit for our feet or not so this is also testing so like this in every way in every action testing involves in our day-to-day -day life in that same way we have to test the softwares what are going to be released into the market before going to learn what is software testing we have to discuss the things see here what is testing testing is the act of examining the artifacts artifacts nothing but what components or characteristics and behavior of some object that may be any object here mother tests boiled rice we go to the shoe mart and test whether that pair of shoe is fit for our feet or not so like that whether it meets our expectations or not right we have some expectations about any product so if that product is meeting our expectations or not we test it then next in our in other words we can say that checking product and documentation so this is uh, simply in a scientific way what is the testing we can say in scientific method means what uh, in our real words we can say in different way in scientific by using scientific terms we can define testing so what is testing here checking a product every product has its own documentation 
before releasing a product into the market the manufacturers will release one documentation if you wanted to buy a mobile okay then uh, the mobile production committee or that simply we can say that manufacturers will release the features of that particular mobile in the form of a documentation so after going through the documentation after reading the documentation so uh, if you decide to buy that mobile so you have to verify whether that particular mobile fits meets that uh, features which are mentioned in the documentation so checking the product and its documentation in order to determine how far the needs or requirements are meet or to find defects the product is ready but the product may contain some defects so here we have to test whether the product is perfectly made or whether the product contains some defects defaults and we have to test also to measure quality and risk if we use that particular product do we face any risk or not okay like that we have to test everything to establish confidence and prevent defects so the examining process of all these things is called as testing in scientific terms we can say like this in simple words we can say that just examining behavior and characteristics of some object simply we can say that then next i think uh, uh, you might have get the clear idea about uh, what is testing why because it is a part of our real life and day to day life don't worry about this and we go under testing every day in our schools and colleges and everywhere okay why because they put some questions on the paper and we have to answer okay so by writing those answers we will be tested uh, our uh, knowledge okay so like that everywhere wherever we go there is a testing directly or indirectly in our life the next pointing what is software you might have heard software 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 engineers are there their life is very 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 beautiful so uh, so many people are uh, uh, simply we can say that love to become a software engineer don't worry you are also going to become a software engineer soon i hope that and now uh, before going to learn software testing we have to understand what is software first see we are using so many electronic gadgets like tv computer mobile okay nowadays without mobile we can't live without tv we can't live they became the part of our life okay uh, whenever we wake up instead of watching our mother's face or uh, some guards uh, faces we watch first our mobile okay so like that these are called electronic gadgets that means what those are hardware components hardware components in the sense some uh, physical components okay and uh, simply hardware component on any electronic component should work what we want to do what we tell for example you take a mobile you want to make a call just you dial the number and press call button that's it the mobile dials that number and make a call to your friend and says hello okay that means what it is removing the bridge gap by using the bridges of communication that's it that is an electronic device but by using the same electronic device you can capture the video you can capture the photo you can make a call you can send a message different activities you do but which work you want to to perform by using that particular device you have to tell the mobile mobile does not understand mobile cannot read your mind and it cannot understand what you want to to say so if you speak also sometimes a new technology has come ai developed a lot in modern days so that's why you can say hey siri make a call to my friend like that that means what that electronic device perform some actions based on your instructions right okay that means what the electronic device can understand what you type what you click what you speak and that electronic device will respond as uh, we requirements as per our requirements right 
so here our question is what is software and we are going to discuss all these things that means what here what i am going to say is a mobile or a computer is just a electronic device but there must be a communication between user of that electronic device and the electronic particular part so to communicate with that electronic device simply we can say that we have to give the instructions to the electronic device that set of instructions is called as a software so simply we can say like this software refers to a set of instructions or programs that tell a computer or any other electronic device what to do and what not to do that's it and in other words we can say there are many different types of softwares including system software system software means what it uh, activates a system which includes operating systems they are called as os os uh, for example android is an os windows is a os okay mac is a os so like that okay that means what that is a main important software which invokes the electronic device okay simply we can say that so including software uh, system softwares which includes operating systems device drivers drivers in the sense what for example you add some uh, printer to your computer for that printer you have to add some drivers then only that printer works right without adding the drivers you can't uh, work with the printer even though there is an operating system so for that operating system extra you have to add that device drivers and utility programs are there and application softwares are there which are we are using on mobile apps like that which includes everything from web browsers and email clients video editing softwares games and everything these are all called as softwares okay and we can also say that how these softwares or made of we make these softwares how these softwares are made software is typically created using programming languages here uh, in one video i'll make a uh, clear explanation for that uh, programming languages don't worry and what is a language what is a programming language what is a machine language what is a high level language what is a low level language what is a medium level language everything we will discuss later in coming videos upcoming videos don't worry so and uh, see here software is typically created using programming languages such as java c++ python or javascript typescript okay php so many other programs are there which are created which are modern uh, uh, so, uh, languages are there to create softwares and programmers write code okay uh, that means what uh, different types of statements code in the sense what different types of statements so they prepare some statements by using these languages and as well as then the code is compiled okay after writing the code the code should be compiled compiled means what this is a new, new term here don't worry about that so compilation means what actually c c++ java all these programs are high level languages that means what high level languages means what they are just uh, familiar with the human language human can understand high level language but machine cannot understand the uh, high level language so after writing the code in high level languages like java javascript by using these type of languages next we have to transfer convert this particular high level language into machine language that is called what binary language or code language the machine can understand only zeros and ones not uh, this int jar like this okay everything will be prepared by using these high level languages but after preparing the code in these high level languages this entire code should be converted into machine language then only the computer or the machine or any electronic device can understand what we are conveying to it then it acts as per our requirements right 
so that programmers write code using these languages and then code is compiled this is called what compilation or interpreted interpreted also in the same sense we convert the code to create executable pro uh, programs okay dot exe files we might have seen okay we download the dot exe files executable files and run the programs okay so after writing the code by doing compilation that particular code will be converted as executable files so we download we use executable files and run that particular code to give the instruction to the electronic devices right this is called what software so you might have understand what is software the next uh, we have to understand so how these software is made and uh, what is software testing we have to understand now okay so now software testing is called what testing is a process of checking whether the developed software or this is also called as application app okay whether this developed software is working as per the customer's business requirements or not we create every software keeping some requirements in the mind i want a particular requirement for example bankers they have some requirements they have to maintain the customers okay and they have to maintain their accounts they have to maintain their deposits withdrawals interest and everything should be recorded in a particular fixed manner so that this requirement keeping all the requirements in the mind we have to prepare one software after making the software after completing the software after developing the software we have to check whether the developed product the developed software is meeting the customer's business requirements or not we have to test that is the main important if we deliver that product we if we deliver that pro uh, application to the customer without testing if the customer faces some issues after taking after deploying the uh, software into the market a lot of difficulties we have to face so testing plays a crucial role in this scenario before deploying the software to the market and we can also say that it includes this software testing includes two important major points what is that it includes checking whether software matching our expectations or not whether the developed project whether the developed software is meeting our requirements or our expectations or not that is one important uh, part of our software testing the next important point in software testing is we have to find the bugs bugs in the sense what gaps so a uh, so customer expected something but it was not meeting that particular expectation properly there is some gap between the expectation and the reality that is called what defect okay that is a gap so we have to find out the gaps between that customer expectation and the real activity so software testing includes these two important points one is whether the developed product is meeting the requirements are there any defects or bugs the next we can understand what is the software company there are so many software companies are there nowadays and uh, what does the software company do okay software company simply we can say that there is a biscuit company what does a biscuit company makes it creates or it builds it prepares biscuits shoe company it creates a shoe and it delivers into the market that's it in that same way software company what does a software company do in modern days it creates the softwares right so simply we can say that a software company is a company which creates which pro, uh, produces software so software company software products will be created products and uh, the another thing is that the software company also says that software projects it creates some projects 
and products. What is the difference between these products and projects? Don't worry. See here, you might have uh, seen and uh, you might have been using also Windows or Microsoft Office, MS Excel, MS Word, uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation for uh, PPTs we use or else uh, we use uh, some other softwares like Paint, uh, okay. And these are called as products. Product in the sense what? Keeping all the customers in the mind, we create one product. We don't consult any customer before creating the software. Before creating the software, we don't consult any customer. Just uh, keeping the requirements of all the customers in the market, we gather, we collect all the requirements on our own. We document the requirements. And after that, we prepare a product on our own. After preparing the product, we release into the market. Whoever requires the same requirement, whoever need it, they will buy and use it. That's it. That means what? Here, before creating that particular software, we are not consulting any particular customer. It is not created for any particular customer. It is created for all. Whoever needs to use that, they can buy it or they can download it okay, and use it. That is called product, software product. Now, software project, what is a project? Project is the special one which is built for a particular customer. For example, here we can say that Central Bank app application is there. Swiggy application is there. What we uh, use mostly, most of us just we uh, book food on Swiggy. Right? Okay. Swiggy is a special software which is designed for a particular customer. That's it. Swiggy company. That particular company comes and talks to some software development company. I need, I have this type of requirements. Note down. I will tell you the requirements. Note down. After noting down my requirements, based on my requirements, you have to prepare a software. And give me. For that, I will give you some amount of money. This is called what? Client and company understanding. Business documentation. So, based on that particular customer's needs and requirements, software company prepares a particular software. And that particular software is useful only one particular customer only. That is designed keeping only particular customer in the mind. So, that's why it is called as a project. So, simply we can say that product is for all the customers and project is for only one customer. That's it. So, nowadays, software companies are preparing all these things. For example, Microsoft, commonly it is called what? Product-oriented company. And for example, uh, there is uh, Satyam Computers. Satyam Computers, mainly it depends on project-oriented company. It does not release, release any uh, product into the market. Okay, but Microsoft, it releases all the products into the market. Whoever needs Microsoft Office, they can buy or they can download from the market, open market and use it. Right? Okay. That is the difference between product and project. So, software companies are creating, manufacturing, making products, software products and software projects. Now, here uh, we can uh, see this. Whether it is a product or project. Okay. Don't worry. Just it is a product. It may be product or it may be project. So, simply we can say that softwares are two types, web applications and mobile applications. Web applications are nothing but what? They are applications, those are the applications or those are the softwares which are available on websites, right? And mobile applications, that softwares or that applications are available on your mobile phone. Okay, that's it. Okay, nowadays the softwares are two types, web applications and mobile applications. Now, 
what is the development life cycle how what are the different uh, uh, levels of development we have to understand but then only we can understand how the testing is important okay if you understand software development life cycle then only we can understand how this software testing is very important so here to develop any software first we have to take the first initial step that is called what making the documents of requirements without making the document for requirements we can't develop any software so that's why this is a initial stage first stage initial stage requirements documentation so who prepares this documentation commonly in the companies requirements and documentation this is uh, developed this is created by ba in the software companies ba in the sense what business analyst who has some uh, what is that clear idea or uh, clear knowledge about that particular market so he is called as domain expert or product owner okay product owner in the sense what he is a client he says who knows about the business client knows more about the business rather than other people okay right so i i require these things so by listening all those requirements ba business analyst prepare one documentation that is called what requirement documentation first in the initial stage of software development this document will be prepared and after this document what will happen this requirement documentation leads to second step that is called what d d for design software design so software design in the sense what see here before going to construct a big building what will happen for example one of you wanted to uh, construct one uh, big uh, what is that uh, apartment okay it is a set of apartments okay then if you consult a civil engineer first what will he do he will create some model right okay he creates some model so here you keep water tank here you keep some parking area here you keep some what is that uh, lawn or garden for children okay like that he creates some model for that your uh, entire apartment that is called what design okay in that same way after understanding the requirements business requirements of the product owner that document will be given to the architect so who creates a design for this architect so here architect means what in civil engineering architect will be there but here is also architect he is called as system architect okay he is called as what system architect so this system architect designs overall okay model design yeah uh, this particular project or product should be like this overall design will be created by system architect so after whenever the system architect creates the entire senior test engineer or senior developer simply we can say that senior developer or uh, development team lead okay creates commonly this uh, uh, architect uh, design after <coughs> after uh, whenever the system architect creates this particular design this design will be given to the next level next stage that is called what c c for coding so who writes code for this design okay here uh, the uh, what is that logo should be there here the user name should present here the detail should present so like this entire design will be prepared right but for that design code should be written who writes code for this simply we can say that programmers are code writers or simply we can say that developers so these developers will write code for that entire design so code is ready now okay and after writing the code the design will be ready and after the design is ready now what it goes to the fourth step what is a t t for testing so code is ready after code is that means what whenever the code is ready the design is ready 
but that design should meet the requirements of the product owner now here in this process testing process we check whether the design meets the customers requirements or not we test so commonly who makes this test testing and bug reporting is done by quality analyst or test engineer so we are uh, now uh, you are called as test engineers at this particular level in old and days uh, commonly for small uh, small small softwares small small projects okay this particular testing will be held in the last stage okay later we'll understand how this uh, testing became very important and very crucial in the software development entire life cycle okay later we'll understand but now we can understand so commonly software testing will be held in the last stage after develop whenever the product or software project is ready we test whether that project or product is meeting the business requirements or not that is a testing whenever the qa qa means what quality analyst or test engineer this particular uh, qa after testing the product or project okay after the approval of this qa next stage the software application will be deployed into the market deployed in the sense what released into the market where the customer can use that particular software in his real life business this is entire uh, development life cycle then next we have to understand why do we test a software now we understood the software is uh, software testing is in the last level okay but actually in modern times the software testing is uh, not at the last level okay at every level of software life cycle we need to test the software okay so why do we test a software the first point see here there are eight crucial points which makes software testing is very important the first point among those eight points is to ensure that the software application the software or application whatever it may be will meet business requirements from the beginning we are saying this only okay so the software or any application will meet the business requirements or not that is the main intention of software testing the next major important point here we have to remember to ensure that the developed software is bug free that means what there should be no defects in the released software so to ensure that yes this software is bug free defect free okay we have to give the surety assurance to the client or customer okay for that software testing is required third important point to reduce to cut off to reduce to cut off to decrease production cost of the software product how can we reduce for suppose just i am going back here to the life cycle see here for suppose we are running a software company some x came with some business requirements we collected the requirements and we gave that requirements to the architect and architect made design and uh, uh, the design was given to the uh, developers developers also wrote the code based on that particular design and the design is remember remember here the design was ready and the developers also started writing the code and the developers started writing code based on design and the design is developed based on requirements after writing the entire code it was given to the qa quality engineer or quality tester quality analyst okay there quality analyst found that there is a gap between the software reality and the requirement of the business that means what actually the product owner conveyed one requirement but our ba misunderstood that big requirement and he prepared the document in different way 
so entire project is made based on that defect okay or wrongly understood requirement right so after developing the entire software if we give that software to the client he says no 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 i did not say this requirement should be like this i explained this requirement in another way then what happens here all the time of making requirement documentation all the time of making design all the make the time of writing the code will be wasted okay whenever we spend some time for all these steps the software company should pay for everything for every moment for every time okay so that every time after preparing the entire code entire software if the software is tested what will happen that will go wasted and from the scratch again the product should be prepared so here we can understand if the test is done at the first level okay requirement level business product owner came and explained the requirements after making the documentation again once again sitting with the product owner you said these requirements yes or no once check if the requirements you approve the requirements we go for the next step there is a testing right so if the approval comes or any modifications are made then we can reduce the time of defects gaps and after the overall verification of that business requirement document the document will be given to the architect so the requirement is perfect document is perfect then design will be made there also we have to test whether the design is right or wrong again we have to recheck retest our prepared design is meeting the requirements or not if we check at the second level the time will be reduced right the cost will be reduced right so like this at every stage we require testing so that's why software testing is used to reduce the production cost and production time of the software application also the next most important fourth point is to ensure that software application is more secured most important key point here modern days we can understand how the uh, what is that uh, simply we can uh, so many people are there who are hacking the softwares who are hacking uh, electronic devices hackers are there so to protect ourselves from those type of malwares our application our software should be secured so software testing is done to ensure that the developed application is more secured next step to ensure that software application is more user friendly most user friendly in the sense what whenever we look at the application the application usage should be easy to the customer some customers are uh, so not highly educated some customers are highly educated some customers are uh, illiterates maybe but they should be accessible for our application that is called what when we look at the application that should be easy to interact with the application for every user all types of users it must be accessible easy to understand easy to operate easy to interact so that is called what user friendly to ensure that application is more user friendly software testing is required the next to ensure that software or application is more efficient in performance in the performance what sometimes so we open some websites some government websites or some any busy websites whenever we navigate to that particular websites they take a lot of time to load okay we might have experienced this okay when we navigate when we open certain applications 
the symbol like this okay the loading symbol okay uh, revolves like this rounds like this more time that means what it creates some irritation for the users so that's why our developed application must be efficient in performance okay the next uh, last one okay here to ensure that the software application is more efficient in load performance load performance in the sense what uh, see here whenever more people interact with the application at a particular point of time it should respond to all the users properly that is called what load bearing performance load bearing sometimes 10 people can interact at one second particular second sometimes at a particular second particular moment of time thousand people may interact ten thousand people may interact ten lakhs ten million people or crores of people may interact see here facebook okay facebook the uh, most efficient and most uh, uh, what is that uh, uh, useful okay social media nowadays at every moment uh, crores of people are interacting with facebook but whenever we interact when we open that application it does not uh, take much time to load much time to respond it does not take any much time it res uh, responds very fastly that's why we like it we enjoy that application right <coughs> so in that same way software testing involves in this load bearing also how the application ref, uh, affects whenever more people are trying to interact with it <coughs> this is also part of software testing next what are the main ways of testing software mainly uh, how can we what are the different ways okay what are the different types of software testing is different in upcoming videos we we'll learn what are the different types of software testing clearly step by step don't worry we will learn from the scratch but here what are the main ways of software testing so there are uh, software testing simply we can say that there are uh, two ways one is manual testing manually we operate the software and it test whether it is working as per the expectations or not we open the application we log in manually we enter username we enter password we click on login button we test how much time it is taking to load the page login page or welcome page we test manually we test everything that is called what manual testing and the second one is automation testing automation testing automating the testing process later i'll discuss what is manual testing what is automation testing in clear in depth in brief step by step we learn without losing any point okay and uh, see here what is manual testing manual testing is nothing but what testing the functionalities and non functionalities functionalities in the sense what every software is designed to perform some actions that is called functionalities and we have to test the functionalities how the application is working and some non functionalities simply we can say that gui okay graphical user interface interface how the application looks colors attraction labels links okay everything how they are friendly how they are visible for example red color is there on the red color box okay pink color title is there how can we is it easy to identify that link name no on red color box if you put pink color uh, or light pink color uh, text it is not user friendly to understand the text right that is called what gui user interface how the colors how the buttons are available how is the navigation from one page to another page 
So that is called what non-functional. That is not a work. We are not doing any work over there. Just how it is friendly looking. Okay, that is also should be tested, right? Okay, so uh, testing these functionalities and the non-functionalities of a software or uh, application manually, manually. Okay, with our hands, with our mind, mind power. Okay, if we test any software, that is called manual testing. And what is application automation testing here? Automating the testing process. How do we automate? By using, by writing some test scripts. Okay, we write some code. Okay, by using Java, by using Selenium. So there are some testing tools are there. Selenium, QTP, Tosca. Okay, so like that there are some uh, testing tools are there. Okay, and JMeter to test the performance, uh, to test the load. Okay, how the software application is responding when high load is put on. Okay, JMeter is there. So like that different tools are available to perform testing. By using those tools, by writing some testing code scripts based on Java, uh, Java language, JavaScript, TypeScript. Okay, so like that, by using those languages, we write some scripts and test the applications. So this is called what? Automating. Instead of manually testing, we are automating the testing process. Same functionalities and non-functionalities of the software. This is called what? Automating. Autom automation testing. So I think you might have understood clearly about uh, what is testing, what is software testing, what is a software and why do we test a software, okay, and how the software is developed, what is a development life cycle, SDLC, SDLC. Software development life cycle this is very important. In as per interview, also it is very important. This entire video helps you a lot to attend interviews. Theoretical part it is to attend interviews to get more uh, fluent answers in interviews. This video very helpful for you. Okay, and the next, please uh, never stop learning. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.